Hello, assalamualaikum guys, and welcome back to another video. It's your boy Muslim, and today I'm back with another video on Hackintosh. So, in this video, I will be explaining you how to make your Hackintosh super rock solid for your future macOS updates. So, you've been noticing that I upgrade to my Hackintosh every single time the update comes out, and I take no tension if the update will be uh, compatible with my system or not because I have made a complete SSDT tables for my Hackintosh motherboard and that made my Hackintosh really really compatible with my uh, hardware so right now I can show you that every single thing on my Hackintosh works pretty damn fine from audio to Bluetooth and then Wi-Fi okay just in Wi-Fi and then the USB works pretty fine USB 3 USB tube Bluetooth host control and I have working Thunderbolt card in my PC as well the Thunderbolt works as well. I have a 10 gigabit Ethernet Aquatina AQC card in my Hackintosh, and my graphics card works as well. And my Ethernet works as well. Every single thing on this Hackintosh works like a, a real Mac. The iMessages work, the SMS works, everything works. So, how do I get everything working? And I get a super solid uh, Hackintosh build as well so right now you can see I have a 10 gigabit ethernet working as well so so how to get this stable Hackintosh also this easy to upgrade Hackintosh in one system so the key factor here is I have made SSDTs for my Hackintosh motherboard and those SSDT has made the path very very easy for me to upgrade to the future upgrades of Hackintosh and I have zero compatibility or running issues with my build because of those SSDTs. So where you can get the SSDTs for your specific motherboard. So you have to basically make SSDTs for your motherboard because every single hardware is different. Every, every single system is different. So there is a great chance that you have a compatible so there is a great chance you have similar build to me and you just use the same motherboard, same graphica. Then in that case, you can use my SSDD tables to make your Hackintosh super stable. But if you don't have that, you have to basically make them for your motherboard. And if you can't make them, you have to search online to find people who have built them for their motherboard and you can buy from them for free or whatever they cost for your Hackintosh build. But so in this video, I will be teaching you how to get how to create your SSDTs for your specific hardware for free. But before we start to make SSDT tables, we need to have our DSDT table. So what is a DSDT? A DSDT table stands for Differentiated System Description Table. And an SSDT stands for a Secondary System Description Table. So basically DSDT is the main table in which everything that your hardware is capable of doing, every detail about your hardware, is defined in DSDT in a broader sense but the SSDT is basically fine-tuning those details explaining them to the last bit to the OS that what system specs you have and how fine-tuned and how unique and different that they are from a similar chipset version for your processor but contains different details about them for example ASUS and Gigabyte both of themselves a Z390 chipset from Intel so each and they make a lot of different chipsets, a lot of different motherboards from those chipsets, which means a Z390 Gaming X or Z390 Aorus Ultra or Z390 Maximus. Every single one of them have a DSDT, which tells about a Z390 chipset and that it is compatible of Intel 8 and 9 generation processors. But SSDTs explain about how many USB ports each motherboard have, how many PCI slots each motherboard have. Do the motherboard have a USB 3.2 Gen 2 or 3.2 Gen 1, or it have a Wi-Fi card or not, or it have a Bluetooth card or not, and how many different audio ports do it have, or do it have an optical port. Every that special details or every that extra detail about the motherboard is contained in SSDT. And all the major details about the motherboard is contained in DSDT. So we have to fine tune the DSDT and SSDT to tell Hackintosh, to tell our macOS that what specific stuff do our hardware have and what it does not have. So any conflict which arises, 
at the boot time or after boot time or in extreme loads can be covered up. So in this video, I will be telling you a very simple, elegant way to get DSTT out of your motherboard if you are able to boot into Mac OS using OpenCore. I will also explain you how to get DSTT with three different ways on Windows, Linux and Mac OS if you are not able to get into Mac OS with OpenCore. So let's start with the simplest way, which is the OpenCore way. We will open our OpenCore configurator and we will mount our SSD or our EFI partition if it is not mounted already. We go to EFI OC config.plst. Here you have to go to miscellaneous debug and you have to click this system report icon. So you have to click this. Once the system report icon is clicked, control command S to save your file. And then what you have to do is basically go to tools, open code downloader and 6.7 or any latest version by the time you're watching the video. And from here, instead of release, you have to click debug, select the EFI partition, backup files, download. So it will download the debug version of OpenCo and it is very vital or very important to use the debug version because system report does not work without debug version of OpenCo. So once that EFI is downloaded, just close this, Control S, save, command S, save the config.plst, go here and check if the system has upgraded the EFI or not. So look, OpenCo has upgraded, look at the time, time is almost the same. We have just upgraded make sure it, the tools are upgraded and everything so these files are upgraded as well to debug version of open core so once that is done you can open the docs acpi samples and right now you can't see any of the dstt tables right here so no dstt here so once we will restart the system, we will find our DSTT table right here. Let's restart and I will show you where we, where we will find our DSTT table. So before that, pause the video. All right, so we have just restarted our system and we have put it back with our Agandosh. Now we will open our global configurator again. We'll mount our SSD, okay, so, and now this time you can see there is a new folder named system report. If you double click this, you will get ACPI audio SM BIOS. So we have SM BIOS details here, audio codec details here, and we have our ACPI, which is the magic. So I would recommend you just copy this whole folder here, close this and open our ACPI. So this is basically the magical DSTT we were talking about. So D DSTT, uh, okay, I have, I have a specific application for this, which is MSL. And I think it's in my folder. Let me find it. It's in my server, I think. So basically, I think the software was in the server. Just copy to this desktop. Okay, so now we can open this. So this is our SSDT and everything we will do after this video will be based on this SSDT pad, SSDT.ml file and I will highly recommend you to get this up and running on our desktop so that you can follow the next videos. So if you can't get the understanding of how to get this SSDT, let me know in the comment section below and I will tell you how to get the SSDT based on your system and your operating system as well. So SSDT, once again, let me remind you, from working USB uh, 3, 3.1, 3.2, or even Thunderbolts, you need DSDT table for proper Wi-Fi and proper Bluetooth compatibility for airdrop you need DSTT for sleep and wake function you need DSTT for better graphics card performance you need DSTT table and SSDTs for your graphics card and for proper upgrades and for proper clock and sync support and for proper 
operating system updates for every single thing on your Hackintosh. You need help from DSDT and you have to make an SSDT tip for that. And in the coming videos, I will be explaining you how to basically create SSDTs for your Hackintosh to work it at its optimum and the best speed. So that's all for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. Hope you liked it. Hope you enjoyed it. And until the very next video, please take care. Allah Hafiz.